Hello once again, folks, and um, I couldn't help but shake my head at this AP video that I watched of Michelle Bachman, the faltering GOP presidential candidate. Trump at this news uh, that Iran has the capability to develop nuclear weapons, and that she is basically going all in on her campaign, largely in part on this notion that we have to stop Iran from developing nuclear bombs. And if not, then we will wake up one day and find out that America was attacked by a nuclear bomb from Iran. And it's very unfortunate when someone uses fear-mongering as, as a campaign tactic, but it's not surprising when someone as desperate as Michelle Bachman is doing it. Uh, I mean, it's not like we haven't been living in fear of a nuclear attack in for the past 60 years. It's not like it's never been, never entered the back of our minds. Uh, but when you really think about it, ever since the first atomic bomb was dropped in Japan to end World War II, nuclear weapons have basically been a way for nations to, figurative, figuratively speaking, show off their manhood. So, but if we're going to believe that we should be afraid of a nuclear attack. Why don't we just go after every other nation that has a nuclear bomb? Why don't we? Why not just? Why not stop at a, at Iran? Okay. Uh, basically, she's implying that we should we should be afraid of a nuclear attack. We should always be afraid of a nuclear attack, especially from Iran. But we but it's more important to be afraid of that than to be afraid of a bad economy. It's, it's more important be afraid of a nuclear attack than it is to be afraid of a faltering economy caused large, largely in part by the billions of dollars that we spent on wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and now we should now we should be ready to spend even more money even more billions of dollars on war with Iran you know, not at all crazy not, not at all irrational at all you know no, no, nothing to it's nothing to dispel this notion that she's she might be a little bit crazy. You know, she's she's you know she's supposedly this can the candidate of conviction, but uh, that's not the kind of conviction that I would want in a presidential candidate. Sorry. Thanks for watching.